Greens one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope well. We're going to do some uh, next level mac and cheese. I was going to do uh, this month's cast iron challenge is fajitas, but I wasn't really quite sure how to do that since I don't like onion. I hate onions and I don't hate peppers. I'm just not a big fan of them. So it's like, well, without peppers and onions, how can you do that? So I'm still um, kicking around the idea. Still trying to think of something to do with that. So maybe next week. This week, doing mac and cheese. I'm also prepping for a lunch tonight at work, so let's get to it. Alright, so I'm kind of doing this out of order. So, what I've got going is uh, the mac and cheese, rolling up the pasta. Make sure it's mixed. I've got uh, crisping up some bacon, pepper bacon, and I've got chicken thighs cooking, seasoned with a little Uncle Mike and some garlic, not adding any additional salt. I did add a little bit of Uncle Mike's, which has salt in it, but um, not a lot. Make sure my bacon is well stirred, should be about done. This is just uh, deluxe mac and cheese. Like, I'm gonna do a full price breakdown, which I was gonna do beforehand, but I decided to get everything cooking. I have some, um, I have some broccoli steaming right here. That's going in there. I think my bacon is done, so I'll make. Okay. I'm gonna grease out. The chicken might actually be done. I think it actually is. Check one of these. Give a few more. Gotta prep my mushrooms and kill these. That pasta drained off. Got my mushroom sauteing, which we're done. Got the bacon and chicken. I'll just throw them back right back in the pan. The pasta in. Kill the heat. Go ahead and add the cheese. Add the cheese sauce. I never put milk in my mac and cheese. Never do it. If I got the powdered cheese stuff, I might, just because that powder can be kind of touchy about getting uh, cooled down or getting uh, dissolved completely. But with the deluxe, you don't have to worry about that because it's already in a. Um, it's already creamy. Now I got the bacon, chicken, mushrooms. Pour that whole thing in there. I have a mushroom fly out. Pretty typical. Alright. That's that's that. Now we finish this guy off. One is a fresh Roma tomato. I got a Roma tomato because they were on sale. I just diced it up nice and small. Yeah, I'll put it right in there cold because uh, everything is so hot in there, it's going to 
cook the tomato perfectly. Whereas if I throw it in with the tomato and mushrooms, it would be, you know, it would have been cooked. But then if I throw it in the pan as well, then it would have been overcooked. You can just use whatever tomato. I just, I happen to like Roma and they were on sale. Okay. Give that a stir. Yep. One more ingredient. Oh, it's just done. And let's see. Make sure you guys can see. And that is uh, fresh broccoli. Fresh and steamed broccoli. And then drop one. I'm not going to pick that up and put it in here. There you go. That's just one. No, this is like probably looks like a lot of food, but um, I'm half of this is going to work for my lunch. So let me uh, get it in the bowl, and then we'll go. Through. All right. Got the chicken. Got the bacon. Got the mushrooms. The tomatoes. And the last ingredient we top it with is avocado. I happen to love avocado. And they were on sale too, so it worked out. I just pull it out. You guys can see that. I'll just. Just be careful not to cut through the skin. And I just squeeze it right over the top. Oh yeah. Yeah, I use the whole half. And then wipe all the avocado off her hands. Trader Joe's uh, crack, fresh cracked black pepper. All right, there you go. Loaded with goodness. Oh man, no avocado. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so at this point I would be holding up the empty bowl showing uh, showing you that I cleaned it, but I actually just threw it in the sink and filled it full of hot soapy water and then stacked stuff on top of it. I'm actually going to go to work now, so uh, I'm going to do a cost breakdown of the whole meal uh, tomorrow, sometime tomorrow morning, and then um, just piece it all together. As always, I thank you for watching, and I'll catch the next one. Alright, I want to do a real quick uh, cost breakdown real fast. Um, so basically, the mac and cheese I picked up at Winco, it was $2.29. The chicken, I got a four thighs, chicken thighs, because they're my favorite. They were $3.77. The bacon was pepper bacon right out of the deli at $4.43, the most expensive item. But, you know, it's bacon, so it's worth it. The mushrooms were $2.02 .02 for six. Uh, the broccoli was $1.14. It was on sale. The tomatoes uh, were Roma tomatoes. They were on sale. So the, the total cost for two tomatoes was $0.50. Cents. And these are total cost, by the way. And uh, for the avocado, was three thirty-four for two. Now, that was the full price. Now, when I break it down... I basically just divided all those numbers in half, and I came up with 8.75. So that was lunch, and it was also uh, the, the I ate the rest for dinner. So it's what four dollars and thirty-three cents, whatever, for um, 
four person, so four dollars and thirty cents, whatever, close enough. Uh, per person, so per portion, which I think is pretty cheap. And of course, you can always save money by deleting some items. Like if you don't like mushrooms, you can take those out. If you don't like tomatoes, you can leave them out. Um, you can switch to a cheaper meat if you wanted to. You know, leave out the bacon. I don't know why anybody would, but you could leave the bacon out. It would have saved money. So you know, for what four dollars and some cents. So I'd throw that in there, which is far cheaper than eating out or going to fast food.